Good morning, teacher friends. How's it going today? I have been asked a couple times for an alternative to Doceri. And what I have for you today is something called Annotate.net, and it is a very good alternative to Doceri. It has been, in fact, recommended to me by our very own virtual teachers that use it. So let's jump into it here and take a look and see if it's got features that you can use in your classroom as well. What's important, right? Pricing. So let's jump over there first to the pricing chart. So you can record video clips up to three minutes. And let's be honest, that's probably a pretty great number. If you're going much beyond three minutes, then you're going to be losing attention. If you need to do more than three minutes, just do a couple different clips. Break it up into different clips anyways. It's just going to make it more digestible to your students. So three-minute clips. Let's see here. You get all the whiteboard tools. There's even a student response system built into it. So if you're using this live in the classroom, you can get feedback from your students. Scroll all the way down here. We do see you can get a starter account for 10 bucks a year and a pro account for $17.50 a year. So if you decide this is the kind of tool that you are crazy into and you're going to be using it all the time, uh, then maybe $17.50 a year is a worthwhile investment to you. Maybe you can write that off on your taxes, right? Talk to your principal, see if you can get them to pay for it. Clips can be published to courses just like notebooks. You can also share clips on the web, on popular social media websites like Facebook, Twitter, or embed them in your blog or web page. I wonder if we can download and put them on YouTube. We need to find that out. That's going to be very important to know. All right, so let's jump in here. Let's sign up and see what we got. I'll sign up for an educator account. Going to sign up with my Googles. Right now we're sitting at Godwin Elementary. Here for Godwin, right? What, what? In Princeton, Texas. U.S. of A. Go Panthers. Understand the annotate privacy policy. Sign up as an instructor. All right, let's continue to our dashboard. We're going to try to record a little annotation video here. And in order to do that, I have uploaded a slideshow that I want to annotate and present. And it is inside my annotate.net files here, and it is calling in a notebook. So we are going to open this up. We are going to go over here to the top right corner to the little three dots to the hot dog menu. And we want to use this in a clip. And we're going to do basic annotation and we're going to hit create. Adding resources so it's uploading our slides to it. We've got, it looks like a record button down here. Annotations with voiceover. Start recording. All right, so we should be recording our annotation right here. Welcome, students. We're going to talk about the 50 states of the United States. Let's try the tools out here. Let's grab a pen. Let's make it red. Oh, look, there's the state bird, kiddos. We can take a highlighter tool. Let's see, can we highlight something in green? We can. All right. Uh, Helen Keller is from Alabama. That is one heck of a story. Okay, clear the ink. All right, that's what we want to do. What do we got here? We've got a laser pointer, it looks like. All right, so if I want you to uh, pay attention to Alabama here, if I want you to pay attention to the upper corner of lower Alabama, you don't want to have to drive through here on a Saturday morning. Alabama is ranked number two on the list of worst states to live in based on its crime, economics, health care, and education. And here I was in my head telling myself the whole time, don't make Alabama jokes. All right, let's move on to the next slide. So we've got a little video on Alabama, and I'm going to hit play here just to see if this works, see if the sound comes through. Change to the uh, mouse tool. There we go. So it's going to click us out. And then you will move on to Alaska, and you will learn things about Alaska. Uh, for instance, the capital of Alaska is Juneau, and Juneau is, I'm pretty sure it's down this area, down this way. It's not up here in the main part of Alaska, like where Anchorage is, and then Fairbanks is up this way. And I think Anchorage is around there. Alaska is a really cool place, so I've heard. All right, look, we have the Alaska State Quarter. I need to be doing more annotating and explaining. Let's grab the highlighter tool. Hey, kids, what's the highest mountain peak in North America? Oh, did you know that's in Alaska? It's called Denali. Yep, and it is 20,000 feet high. Can we share it? Let's go with share. We can. We can post it right to our Google Classroom. We can email it or we can embed it. 
All right, I found the option to download what we've recorded as a MP4 video clip. So what we got to do is we just go all the way out of there back to our content library. And now here is the video that we recorded, Untitled 001. And here we have download as an option. Please upgrade your account to download the clip. Well, all right, so I'm not signing up for that. If you are going to go for a whole three-minute clip and you don't need to trim a whole lot out of it, and you just want a clip to uh, a link to share it, then this is a great tool for that. Okay, so you're going to be able to record your three minute clip for free. You're going to be able to annotate and go through it, explain directions to an activity, you know, help kids through an assignment, whatever you need to do in three minutes, and then you will get the link to share it. All right, so that's how we record a little clip and share it here in annotate.net. Uh, we used a Google slideshow, we annotated over the top of it, we did a voiceover, you know, worked our way through it. Uh, this does have other features as well where you can annotate uh, websites while you're, while you're sharing your screen. You can share your screen live as well. Uh, you can also mirror your mobile device like your iPad or other tablet. All right, so to summarize, pretty cool tool. I think that it's got a lot of potential, especially in the free mode, as long as you don't need a lot of editing. If you are going to be a one and done recording kind of person, it's perfect for that. Let me know if you love annotate.net and maybe we can share your story with teachers on how you use annotate.net in class.